All right, guys, how are we? We are, it's finally happening. We are back, hike and spear. I'm absolutely stoked. So, um, very last minute this trip, but um, we're gonna make the most of it. And yeah, we're just gonna get stuck into some awesome hiking and camping, spearing, bit of foraging. I've just been dropped by the grandparents. Yeah, walk as far as I, I walk. I've got three days, so. Um, yeah, it just depends on how much time I spend in the ocean and yeah, how good the hikes are. I know that I need to do a fair bit of bushwhacking to get from point to point, but just see how we go. Um, but yeah, bloody stoked to be back on a hiking spear, honestly, it's so good. So um, I'll take you to where I've been dropped off because it's a beautiful spot. And um, yeah, basically all I've got with me this time, guys, is just, I've got six liters of fresh water. I've got some gas, I've got soy, wasabi, salt, pepper, chili flakes, and I'm pretty sure I packed some tandako as well. And then that's it. So I've got no food. I mean, if I can't forage and spear, or if I'm not successful, um, I'll be in tandako mix. So yeah, won't be ideal, but guys, just check the start point of where I'm at. Um, how's the shades by the way? Who can remember these? I just dug them out of storage. So I found these in the ocean, uh, one of my favorite spots where I've actually found two pairs of Oakleys now and a pair of Ray-Bans and heaps of cheap glasses as well. But um, yeah, I, I buffed them up and refurbished them, changed the lenses. Happy days, I've gone for purple. Purple with gold. Not bad, thank you Poseidon. Um, yeah, so, on this hike and spear, there's actually heaps of places where I'm not allowed to spear. So um, it's a bit of a bitch because of, I'm realistically not gonna spear until like 1 p.m. today. Um, and then, yeah, we'll continue on and get wet and get some lunch, eh? What a beautiful little bay. I'm just so excited to be outside. Like. Honestly, I've tried doing these hiking spears, like I've failed five attempts now. So there was one in the UK that I really wanted to do in Cornwall and um, yeah, got everything packed. Literally the car was loaded and then out of nowhere, just a, a terrible storm cropped up and yeah, buggered everything for a fair while. So that was, that was really average. Didn't appreciate that much. And then since I've been in Australia, I've planned doing this hike like three or four times and every time I do it, there's just been a tremendous amount of rain, thanks to La Nina. So it's been, um, yeah, it's been real average. Um, to all those who are thinking about doing these trips, just ensure when you do the trips that you've got the skills that you need to keep yourself out of trouble, you know? Like orienteering, that's a real basic one. Always make sure you have a compass on you, like a whistle so you can get attention. Mad first aid kit, tourniquet, whatever you need. Make sure you've got it and you're carrying it in the pack. This pack all weighted up with my lead, spearing gear, water, everything comes to 33 kilos. So yeah, just be prepared to carry the weight, do the time, invest in your calves and they'll look after you. What a beautiful spot. This is a beach that I can't spear at, so, I mean, realistically, there's not much point of me being here. We can pick up some rubbish, though. That doesn't, that doesn't hurt. It's a good job I bought six liters of water, so I've got that to last me the three days because of, yeah, all these little streams and rivers. They dry. It's a shame that you get assholes just come and dump shit. So, um, yeah, once I've finished this hike, I'm gonna come back, pick all this shit up and put it where it belongs. So the problem is some of these trees have escaped from the dangerous tree asylum and they're out here causing all kinds of mischief. So, um, best way to avoid dangerous trees, walk in pairs and probably just don't walk around at night. That's when they're likely to strike. 
And um, yeah, just look after yourself, people. <laughs> Dangerous trees. That's funny. These tiny little wrens. This cheeky fella. Right, okay guys, you need to be really, really quiet because there's a dangerous tree up ahead, it's sleeping. So I'm gonna try and navigate this dangerous tree whilst it's asleep, so do not make a noise. really really important when you do see dangerous trees asleep do not wake them okay you think they're a dangerous tree wait until you've woken them up abruptly all right they're pissed so yeah so the um the bush bash is complete which is is pretty good until i think i've got like 10 minutes of walking track and then i'll go back to the bush but um yeah we've a couple of little cuts and they're minor though so they're not gonna hurt it's fun going through the bush just be sure to check yourself for like ticks and stuff but yeah right on we squeak all right so i've just taken the turn off to a beach that i'm allowed to spear at so obviously i'm getting stuck straight into it i'm just gonna go down get in the water I'll get some water in me still it's been three and a half hours I still haven't had water it's just in the back pack trying to conserve it but yeah I'll definitely have a little water break when I get to the bottom of this hill I always keep pushing myself like oh yeah I'll have a water break when I get there I get there and then I'm like nah you didn't work hard enough keep going so yeah um, I'll push down this hill get to the beach get the water out have some water and get wet get some lunch I'm starving we've got this and I reckon just between us that I'm gonna get a feed and I am absolutely stoked so yeah this will probably be a late lunch maybe a dinner in one I'll just get like a, a good food well I'll see what Poseidon gives me but like I'll uh, I'll definitely try my best Now I couldn't ask for much better than this. South Coast provides again. Thank you kindly. Um, no idea what's going on with the tide here, but I'm gonna stash my bag up in the bush and uh, yeah, I'll get some water in me first. Oh, I can't explain to you how good this feeling is. Oh, oh baby, oh. Oh, right, let's get, let's just get wet. I keep saying it, but let's just do it. Ready to get in the water, let's get wet. Let's get fish, finally, 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 yeah. All right, so yeah, jump in the water. It's a little bit hazy. Um, the footage I've cleaned up really nicely, but yeah, it was good, beautiful scenes underwater though. Port Jackson, beautiful male giant cuttlefish. But, um, yeah, I don't eat them, so I think they're too cool to, to shoot and eat. So I drop the gun and go for a bit of a cray hunt, which is really successful. And yeah, come across these two crays initially and uh, don't bother reaching for them. I never tend to go for them on the first dive. I always try and like reassess things and work things out, switch my knife and my torch over to the other arm, work out the best plan of attack, go to the surface, have a little think, and then kind of come back down with my plan of attack. So these guys had actually moved on me when I came back down, but that's okay, because drug attack. <laughs> yeah, I got him. Stoked. <laughs> yeah, my dude. Oh, Cray for lunch. What a way to start a hiking spear. Thank you, Cray. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Killer dive, I didn't have my catch bag with me, so 
Cray kind of meant that I had to get out of the water. So snap off a sea urchin on the way out, pass it to the Cray, get the Cray to hold it for me because I've only got two hands. Teamwork really does make the dream work. Thanks buddy, you keep hold of that. Oh, and that's how it's done. <laughs> yes. All right, so dive number one, day one, and um, we got our feed. Didn't need to use the gun. The visibility was a bit worse than I'd anticipated. It was really quite milky. An urchin, lovely red. That's a good size red. And then we've got this cray. Come here. Come say hello. Stop being like that. So, yeah. Is our cray. Right guys, and um, to put him out of his misery, we'll just quickly grab our knife and we'll just move his tail out of the way gently and you just go up into there like that all the way to his brain and you'll see he's gone limp and that's him done. In all her beauty, happy days. I'm actually gonna have this, all of this, sashimi so lobster sashimi cray sashimi whatever you want to call it twist out that muscle Rawr. yeah perfect so there's my cray tail um, just gonna split this open get rid of the poop track this is real wasabi this isn't horseradish with green food dye this is actual powdered wasabi and unfortunately I don't have a, a mixing device so I'm just gonna lend one from this guy so <laughs> improvise adapt and survive people so yeah just mix this around in the water awesome right next up of course is soy what i need is portable chopsticks really so this is the poop track that i was on about right so this is our crayfish tail bit of wasabi Okay, that is, that is pretty special. <laughs> Holy. I was thinking that I'd like cocked it up by going for the sashimi option and not cooking it, but wow. Okay, why aren't we having all of our lobster as sashimi? Seriously. Wow. Okay, so lobster is now as of today is one of my favorite things to have as sashimi why aren't we doing this more often that is unbelievable like the taste is amazing the meat is real like the flesh is real real light it's just that is so good all right so i've lost a bit of patience this is the new way to eat lobster you just get the tail, crack it in half, and get stuck in with your teeth and suck. This is so good though. Day one and I've already lost the plot, what's going on? But, um, yeah, just tail me. You know. It might not look very appetizing at home. I mean, Get our arch in. Okay, so, once you've created a nice crack, separate this. This is what we're after, this lovely yellow stuff. And there we are. So this is literally premium grade uni. Right, so there's the uni. So we've got our uni, kinna, sea urchin, urchin row, whatever you want to call it. This is it. And cheers. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I'm that guy that likes to chew it and just get all that creaminess come through. 
All right, and it's just like that. It's almost gone already. But honestly, get stuck into the urchins, the kinner, whatever you want to call them. They're absolutely delicious. Um, if you like oysters, they're comparable to oysters in terms of the fact that they're like a creamy, sweety, delicious, yum. All right, so just like that, we are done. Leave no trace, people. Never be doing stuff like this. I don't even do fires on the beach or anything like that. Just leave no trace. Um, yeah. So, today's spot. Yeah, let's check some of these guys out. Kangaroos being kangaroos. I need a much deserved rest. Hello. Hello. Oh, ho, ho. oh he likes a scratch. As long as he doesn't scratch me. Pretty cool, huh, mate? Yeah, you're pretty cool, aren't you? Australia, see, we can all live as one in perfect harmony, huh? So, I definitely wouldn't recommend this if, like, you don't really know much about kangaroos. Because um, if you could have come over with a real aggressive kind of tone and just started clawing at me and he would have absolutely ripped me up. Check out these claws. So he'd get onto his tail and kick and then scratch as well. So yeah, you're a cool dude, bro. You're a cool dude, huh? You're a cool dude. Oh, is that the spot? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's the spot. That's the honey, is it? And I'm not at like a wildlife park or anything. This is, yeah, just kangaroos in the wild. Alright, so this is a bloody long beach, but we're getting there almost at the end of the beach. Like halfway. I'm already a bit hungry, which is a bit crap, but hopefully I can, um, yeah, position myself in a nice spot for tomorrow morning, go out, get a feed, and um, I'll definitely be cooking up whatever I catch tomorrow. Um, yeah, have a look, see what's in the water when we see it. And hopefully the conditions improve as well. The biz today wasn't pucker. Um, so it'd be nice if, yeah, it was a bit improved. I'm salty and I'm hungry. And it's not even 6 p.m. But yeah, we're getting there. Just gotta keep hiking across this beach. I'm not gonna do any shots or like put the camera down and walk away from it and come back. Bugger that. You guys are just gonna have to enjoy my ugly mug. Let's just take a moment to appreciate some colors, shall we? Have a look at that. Oh, onwards. Look at the colours. So good. Coming in. Hello.
Looks like I'm gonna have to cross the an estuary. Shit. I hope it's not deep. Fuck, it's beautiful. Just look at it. All right, we're gonna give it a, a little attempt. See how deep she goes and how quick it gets deep. And the thing to consider as well, people, is when you're doing these kinds of crossings, yeah, you can check it out and see how your footing goes and stuff like that and how deep it is. But the main thing is not carrying your burger. Chuck that backpack on and you're instantly gaining like for this, like 30 kilos. All right, you're gonna sink deeper into the sand. It's just a fact. Fuck it, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Okay. Oh, oh. It's fucking cold. Bergen's gonna get wet. You know what? I'm gonna gear up. I'm gonna put it over my head, and I'm just gonna do it. It needs to be done. Let's cross it. All right. Down and across we go. Whew. Oh. Bastard. Oh. Oh. Come on. Motherfucker. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh, fuck me. Ah. Get in. We came above my nipples are wet. Ah. <laughs> All right, I'm not putting the shoes on. Um, Oh, that was good. Glad I did that. Sometimes you just need to, you just need to get it done. Pretty proud of that. Awesome. Right, so I'm gonna head over to these bushes. Basically, just get out of the wind, set up camp, dry off, go to bed, wake up, and enjoy day two. Get in. Now let's try and get our tent up whilst it's still light. And um, yeah, awesome. All right, so this is gonna be camp just here. Ocean's there, it's protected from the wind and I am freezing and losing light rapid relief. So I'm just gonna, yeah, set up the tent. All right, gang, so I'm already in bed. Um, I'm trying to warm my feet up. <laughs> They're still pretty cold. So after I crossed the um, entrance, I didn't put my shoes back on and I walked for about another 30 minutes and my feet got quite cold. Um, I've just got my phone out. It's currently 11 degrees. Um, it could go colder, who knows. But um, yeah, what a, what a day. Like, great way to start this hike and spear trip. What did we do? Uh, got dropped. We've walked 15 kilometers today, plus a bit of swimming. Um, which is pretty good. Then, yeah, got to hang out with some kangaroos and stuff, which was pretty cool. Uh, had a cray for lunch, had cray sashimi, and ate like an animal, but it was so good. Uh, highly recommend. And yeah, um, I'm now testing out this new sleeping bag that I've got, and I'm absolutely stoked with it. Um, I'm just trying to warm my feet up, and my feet just aren't warming up, which is a bit horrible. But look, I did the entire day in shorts and t-shirt and yeah, it's not too bad. It's going to get windy overnight, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't lose <laughs> the uh, top of the tent in the middle of the night. That would be a pretty crap way to wake up, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed day one. I've absolutely frothed on it and yeah, it's just so good to be back out in the outdoors and in the wild and in the ocean where I belong. Um, yeah. Stay tuned for tomorrow morning. Hopefully it brings a beautiful sunrise. And uh, hopefully my feet are warm because they're still cold. Right, night guys.
Did I just tell YouTube goodnight? Yeah, I did. Alright, goodnight, YouTube.